Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and in today's little dev update I want to show you something else that is coming to the next big update and that would be something that you're asking for all the time and that is boxer engines. Yes, uh, they are in game, they are mostly done, just a few little touches uh, left and some more sound optimization because the sounds are still very rough. What about the light campaign, you ask then, naturally, because uh, you always ask the questions about what I'm not showing in the videos instead of uh, what I'm actually showing in the videos. The campaign is uh, continuing its implementation. Um, like I said last time, we have car selling. We uh, now have a full factory size selection and buying plots. You can take out loans and all kinds of good stuff. But, unfortunately, I cannot show you that stuff yet. It is in this version. But I can't really show it to you yet because the UI in there is very, very rough. So, uh, yes, but uh, the UI needs to be still hooked up and so on. And then next little dev update, we are going to build the, a first car and start selling it. But uh, for now, let's jump into the sandbox and see what we can do. So we go into the engine manager, new family, and take a look around. There we have... Uh, an exhaust that is not hooked up to anything. That's a little weird. And okay, let's build a boxer. And what is going to happen next is a bug. But uh, fear not, <laughs> it is quite cute. Look, we have V4s. <laughs> Aren't they cute? <laughs> yes, they're very cute. Uh, th this is possible because of the modular implementation, the modular completely new implementation of engines in the Unreal 4. Uh, version of the game so we could easily make v32s like all, all the way over there yes yes this, this length yes um, but of course the fuel systems wouldn't match up and, and, and things so it's still a lot of we can't just magically make them happen and everything is perfect there's still a lot of work to do but okay so now let's get to the boxes as soon as you hear currently as soon as you um, select the head let's go push on bam Boxer fours, there they are. Aren't they, aren't they sweet? They look like, like pancakes. Yes, very noisy, heavy pancakes. All right, this might be the interesting part for you to see what it looks like with the actual fuel system because the fuel system is what is kind of tricky with boxes. How do you properly uh, connect these two sides? It's more tricky than with the V engine and inline engines comparatively are trivial. So, single intake, standard, and there we go, little bug with just two legs. Yes, and airbox. Ah, looking good. Um, per cylinder. Aha, uh -huh, yes, throttle per cylinder, throttles are there. This is all working as intended. Let's uh, see what a single looks like. Yes, yes, a bit more like a carb as it should. Isn't this, isn't this nice looking? I think it is. This already looks very much complete. Let's try some different different sucking sucking in babies mechanisms yes and of course the exhausts also are a little tricky but as you see it's also working nicely single exhaust where where's that single exhaust this is dual exhaust all right that seems to be something that is not quite done yet so now let's take a look at performance well it's just as you would expect they would be a little heavier than an inline four and actually heavier than every other engine with four cylinders uh, because there's the least amount of block sharing going on. So you have more end piece stuff uh, that is weighing you down for the block. Now let's uh, quickly just hear the sounds. So these are implemented as roughs. So there has been done very, very little tuning on them, on these sounds. So they will not be, this will not be like what you would hear them later on in the game once we have them in properly. All right, so that's all good. And from the outside, it doesn't look as fancy as from the inside, obviously. Take a look at that. Isn't this fancy? This was probably the most uh, awkward thing to model, I guess. <laughs> the pushrod boxes. Who would want to design pushrod boxes? <laughs> that makes so little sense. Anyway, uh, let's have it rev manually. Now 
let's make something more fancy. Oh yeah, fat head. Yes, it's a fat head pancake engine. Ah, look how pretty it is. The proper headers. Look at how pretty they get. So cast lock, the prettiest of all. Of course. Oh, look at how beautiful it is. No, I'm kidding. So, uh, short cast tubular. I'm going through the frame here, but otherwise pretty neat. A long tubular. Uh, not much of a difference because they don't connect to the same, to a far away point. And then race. Uh, they are winding around a bit. So, 145 uh, horsepower out of uh, this little engine. Tiny, tiny engine. Look at how small it is. It's, yeah. I, I guess you can fit this one into uh, quite a few cars that have, that are struggling with the longitudinal placement of engines. much difference just yet that is another thing to work on enough with the boxer fours let's switch over to boxer six. Oh yeah there we go and ah, oh, this is looking rather pretty uh, the uh, long tubular exhaust oh is this race no this was race right yeah race tubular all right let's have a listen watch the uh, boxer six race version sounds like right now sounds will change Just like for the uh, box of fours, the various configurations, the non-race configurations of these intakes look kind of creepy. All those bugs, yes, with many legs. Look, it even has a mouth. Nom 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 nom. Oh, this is a neat setup. <laughs> uh, just a filter box there feeding the two carbs. Yeah, as you can see, there's a, a lot custom, uh, custom-made intakes and uh, fuel systems for the boxes, which is uh, the main source for it taking quite a long time to actually make and not just slap them together. As all those fuel system combinations need to work, and there's more polishing work to do. And there you go. There we have the crank, proper boxer crank. And for those who don't know, that is the difference between boxers and just straight up flat engines. Boxer engines have the pistons move in pairs against each other, while the flat engine ju just uh, goes milli vanilli um, any way it wants, and thus is very rough. The boxer engine is very, very balanced, and the superior configuration. Unless, of course, you are taking two inline sixes and glue them together to a flat 12, where you can just simply ignore that because inherently the inline six is so balanced that the boxer layout wouldn't help it much. All right, so that was boxers. You see, they are very much ready to get uh, put into the next big update once uh, they are polished up, which shouldn't take all that long. And the only other engine type that will make it into automation 1.0 will be inline fives. They're not in the list here. They are mostly done, and by mostly I mean they are completely done apart from the sounds. But good news there too, we just received the intake sounds for the inline fives. So there is hope that we will get them for the next big update as well. So that would complete the engine selection for the next big update. Looking forward to that and I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.